Hello everybody, Crips here, and as usual, thanks for joining me. Okay, so now with all these new cameras coming out producing uh, Ultra HD or 4K, how do we use this in Video Studio? Since some of you have already commented that when they do, uh, the video quality looks pretty poor. Okay, what we need to do, we need to set it up so we can use 4K. Alright, so here we go. So settings, preferences, performance. Okay. We need to check enable proxy and auto generate a proxy template. Why? Well, we're going to generate a draft version of the original footage. Let's go in here. You'll see that I already have that because this little icon tells me that this is a proxy file. A proxy file means it's probably about 25% of the original that is on my computer. Because remember, this is just a link to the file that is on my computer. But it's telling me that this link is only a draft, which is about 25%. And it allows me to put it in Video Studio and Video Studio can work with it much faster, okay? Don't fear, when you export it, it will retain the original quality. All right, let's go back into settings, preferences, and performance, because the next thing we need to do is we need to check all these boxes down here, okay? This is gonna work on your CPU. It's gonna enable it so it can work with it much more effectively. If it's grayed out, it just means that your graphic card does not support this, okay? Uh, secondly, I have noticed that this one is grayed out a lot. I've heard a lot of people ask me, hey, it's always grayed out, what can I do? Well, uh, what I found is that my CUDA, my, my video card has CUDA, and I didn't put the toolkit in, and therefore it didn't allow me this option. So let's just go here. If I go to NVIDIA, there's a toolkit that I can download to support my CUDA. Now, once I did that, uh, this option then came available to me, right? So that might help you as, out as well. Okay, so let's go OK. Next thing, uh, if I bring my video file in now, watch what happens. Uh, it's really, really tiny. I mean, why? It's very, very small on my canvas. And no matter what I do, if I enlarge my canvas, it still remains fairly small. That is because you haven't set up the project properties enabling you to use the 4K. So let's go back into settings and go into project properties. You must do this before you start working with your uh, video. Now, go into uh, edit file format. Make sure it's set up Microsoft AVI files. It has to be in AVI because AVI is just a wrapper. Like a candy bar, uh, let's say you got chocolate peanuts. Uh, so you got a wrapper around chocolate and peanuts. AVI is the same thing. You have wrapped around a video and an audio file, okay? Very, very important. Once we have that, because the other one option is MPEG files, okay? Once we go that, we go edits, and then general. Make sure the data track is audio and video, duh, and your frame rate matches your video. I downloaded this from YouTube, so my frame rate is based on YouTube, which is 29.97. Ultra HD most likely would be 59.640. You can do that by just right-clicking on your file, and it'll tell you the properties of that. So let's do that for a second, because we need to do something else. Right-click, properties, okay? And it'll tell you my frame, uh, frame rate here is here at 23. So there you go, 23.97. Now remember, I downloaded this, and when I downloaded, that's the frame rate. You will need to find out what that is. So make sure you check this. And most importantly, find out what the pixel ratio is here as well. 3846, 2160. Let's go back out. Let's go back into settings, project properties, edit, general. Okay. I'm going to ignore the frame rate because it's not important right now. I'm going to go to user defined. So what was it? 38, 3846. I'm, I know I'm a slow typer. Uh, 2160, right? Now, watch what happens to my video file. Press OK. If you just ex exit out this way, you do not save the file. I'm going to get a little window that pops up and tells me, do I want to refresh my cache? Yes, I do, because I'm trying to get Video Studio to recognize the new settings. So, OK. Now, instantly, watch. Now, it fits to my canvas size. Look at that. So now I'm really working what it should be. Okay. So that's it, my friends. You need to do all this in order for you to work with these big files. Now, uh, before I go, I'm going to answer one more question. Somebody said, well, what's the point? Why do we need the video files so big? Well, besides the really crisp resolutions, you have another advantage when you do pan and zoom. 
or cropping. You can zoom in a lot further on these and retain good quality. Uh, let's see, give you a little demo. It's, I like using cropping as my pan and zoom. It's a little trick that I've learned. So here we're cropping. Okay, custom. And I'm going to uncheck fill color. So it gives me the original video file again. And I'm, I'm just going to zoom in on something very tiff. Very uh, easy. Let's say this crowd of people here. And then I'm going to reduce. I'm going to probably go about, say, 45%. The same here, 45%. So as you can see, I'm zooming in on this lady, but my resolution is still good. It's still sharp. Press OK. And let's go find this lady again. Well, actually, let's, let's look, at, look at this little gecko, right? If I uh, uncheck the eye... You can see that I've zoomed in, zoomed out, but I'm retaining pretty good quality even though I've zoomed in on this. I can probably push a little bit more before it starts getting pixelated. Now, on an ordinary video, if I did the same thing, this would probably start looking more grainy by now. Okay, so that's a good advantage to have with using Ultra HD. And that, my friend, is it. And as always, thanks for watching.